spoiler alert, okay? It was me and Brian Chicken. Hey guys, so I ordered this package back in October and it finally came in the mail this morning. And so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. So as you can see, it says contains food. Look at all these chicken. <laughs> it looks okay, I'm seeing fried chicken. So as you guys can see, we got two bags of Atlas Monroe vegan fried chicken. I'm sure you guys have seen this like on Veg News and all those vegan social media pages. They like blew up. And so before all that happened though, I had heard about them and I placed an order because they opened up their website again. So that was like back in October and I honestly forgot about it up until like a couple weeks ago while we started quarantine. And then I got an email like a couple of days ago that I was gonna actually get my shipment finally. I'm gonna go ahead and cook some of these bad boys up and then we're gonna do a taste test and show you guys if it's worth it or not. I've seen mixed reviews on Instagram and YouTube, but most of them honestly have been pretty good. We shall see what this tastes like. They also have like a ton of sauces and stuff and different kind of meats, but like their chicken is like what they're best known for. So that's what I went for. Anyways, let's go ahead and cook this up and then we'll come back for a taste test portion of the video. Chicken is fried. I also made some biscuits and mac and cheese to go with it. Some watermelon for aesthetic reasons. Basically, if you want to try these two recipes, I did film it and I'm going to be posting it right after this video. So if you're interested in that, make sure you guys subscribe down below so you guys can get those two delicious recipes. But today we're focusing on Atlas Monroe vegan chicken. Before we get into the taste test, I want to make sure that you guys know how much this costs and like where you can get it and stuff. So as I mentioned, the company is named Atlas Monroe and the website is atlasmonroe.com. I will link it down below. And to be fully transparent, it's not the cheapest it's not too bad at all actually to get these chicken breasts and thighs they are pretty big size as you guys can see they're pretty decent basically it costs $22.99 for a bag of six which I kind of think is worth it because you do get quite a bit like an amount and it's pretty big they're not like very skimpy on the amount that they make I did get two so for the price of two it comes up to $45 and then shipping is like kind of like what also kills you because it's like 20 something so the total price that I paid was $67.97 it's probably like the most expensive chicken that I've ever bought in my life we I'll see if it's worth it. I did the best method, which was deep frying it. You can also air fry it. The air frying method takes 10 minutes and this method takes five to seven minutes. I will say that the breading started to burn after a little while, so you do need to keep your eye on it. You cannot walk away from this. And I also did it one at a time because I used a smaller pot. I did fry it from frozen, so I'm hoping that the inside is cooked all the way through. But anyways, let's go ahead and cut into this and see what it tastes like. So you could also like just bite into this, but I'm just gonna cut it open and see what it's like. Very crispy. It looks like straight up seitan on the inside. You guys can see that. Very like seitan spongy material. The outside is just like really, really crispy breading. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this alone as is, and then we'll add some other stuff to it. Let's go ahead and try this. Honestly, not gonna lie, I'm not that impressed. It tastes like just like a really well seasoned seitan chicken. Seasonings are delicious. It's like spicy, salty, peppery. I will say they do a better job at making seitan versus like you making it at home though. Like they've really mastered the seitanness of this. Do a little pull apart, see what it looks like on the inside. Um, yeah, my seitan usually doesn't do that. I will say it's pretty chicken-like. It looks like a chicken breast and it pulls up really nice. That's the inside. It's very messy. Also in the bag that it came in, like a lot of the breading had fallen off. I was gonna throw it away, but I think I'm actually just gonna use it to like bread some tofu or something. It's really well seasoned. It's really good. It just needs like a sauce or something. I was originally gonna eat this in like a biscuit and I really, I made some really big biscuits. However, for this video, I wanna just do it this way. If you guys are interested in me seeing that chicken biscuit thing, it's gonna be in the biscuit video. So make sure you guys subscribe and check that video out. I'm gonna add some buffalo. I don't have any hot sauce, like regular hot sauce. So we're just gonna try this with buffalo. I also have some agave as like a, you know, like a vegan honey type of thing. All right, let's go ahead and try this with the sauce that agave looks straight up like honey. Mm. 
so much better so much tastier i think i will definitely pour this in like a crap ton of buffalo sauce with agave and make a sandwich with this and i think it'll taste way better than eating it just as is it just like instantly like upgrades the chicken but as alone like it is pretty good i'm gonna give it like a seven out of ten pricing is really expensive i don't think most people would buy this like pricing wise to try it once i recommend it it is pretty good the breading is amazing the seasoning is really really good it doesn't taste like it tastes like seitan but not that much it really tastes like a i don't know just like a meat and like also like the pool apart is what really gets you is like really like they do a good job at making seitan not gonna lie so i'm gonna rate this a 7 out of 10 when you put the buffalo sauce though and the agave on it it's like a sweet and spicy so much tastier this gives it a 10 out of 10 all right, there you guys have it. A really quick taste test. I quite enjoyed this. I don't know if I would purchase it again just because it is really expensive. I think you're better off making this at home. All that said, it is pretty good, pretty tasty. They they do a really good at texturizing this seitan. The breading is spot on and the seasoning is like really good. I love the saltiness and spiciness of it, but it's not like too out there. So I think anybody can handle eating this. And yeah, just comparing like pairing it up with your favorite other like sides and stuff. I think it makes a really good meal. I'm gonna try air frying it next to see how it comes out. Deep frying it is really good, but I don't think you need to. I think because it is already kind of like pre-fried, you can definitely air fry it and it'll come out the same and probably like way healthier. For you so i'll do it that way next time like i said i'm giving it a 7 out of 10 i probably will not purchase this again because it really is just too pricey and a bag of like vital wheat gluten it's like only like seven dollars at your local grocery store or whole foods so you can make a crap ton of these for like way cheaper anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will catch up with you guys in the next one make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below also be sure to catch up with me on instagram at like and my website is lacomelagenemy.com and i will see you guys in the next one take care y hablamos ahorita Ciao!